Welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about Transport Layer Security, TLS. So, the Transport Layer Security is designed to provide security at the transport layer. Now, this TLS protocol simply secures the connection. TLS protocol secures the connection between the web server and web application using some data encryption using some encryption it provides the it provides the security through the connection between web server and web application once it provides the security means all the data that is exchanged over that connection the security is provided all the data in the sense any data emails or web browsing sessions or file transfer information so once we provide security to all the data a hacker is unable to access the user sensitive data like login details like registration etc etc this is the use of TLS now how TLS works how the TLS transport layer security works in your circuit connection Simply, transport layer security uses both symmetric and asymmetric encryption algorithms. Symmetric and asymmetric encryption algorithm, mainly it depends on two layers. TLS mainly depends on two layers. The first one is TLS record protocol. The second one is handshake process. Second one is handshake process. Okay. So, almost these are similar to SSL. Here also same TLS record protocol. TLS handshake process. Now, I will explain the handshake process of TLS. What is the concept? Very, very simple. In the first step, client. Client send some information to the server. What is the information? Different versions of TLS along with the suggestions of cipher suit. So, just different versions of TLS along with the suggestions of cipher suit. These two are generated by the client and sent to the server. Sent to the server. What happened? Once the server receives this information, based on the options of the client, server select the cipher suit. Select the particular version of TLS and the cipher suit. That means initiate the connection. Once accepted means it initiates the connection. Once the connection is initiated, immediately server sends TLS certificate server sends TLS certificate to the client why for authentication of server for authentication of server he sends TLS certificate to the client once the client receives the TLS certificate of the server and immediately he validate the server immediately the client validate the certificate and if the certificate is valid if the certificate is valid now the client create a pre master key the client create a pre master key and that master key is encrypted by using public key of server so the client creates a pre-master key and that is encrypted by using public key of server. Now the question is how the client know public key of server? Remember the certificates itself contains the public key. 
once that is received by the client automatically client knows the public key of the server by using that public key pre master key is generated now who decrypt only the server which consists of private key then only decrypt the message then only only that one only decrypt the message okay after creation of this one send to the server after creation send the pre master key to the server now what happened client and server generate session keys for transfer the messages to the connection client and server generate session keys by using symmetric encryption algorithm and based on pre master key whatever the master key you are getting by using this pre master key the client and server generate session keys okay once the session keys are generated now both client and server have a finished message both client and server have a finished message that finished message is encrypted by using session key i think you got the point once the session keys are generated after that one client and server have finished message that message is encrypted by using session key finally the handshake process is completed finally the handshake process is completed okay and during this process for generation of unik session key for each and every connection we are using symmetric encryption algorithm by the first layer tls record protocol now tls record protocol uses symmetric encryption algorithms for generating session keys for generating session keys not only that one the tls record protocol first one is generation of session keys one more thing is there whatever the message we have for that message add a message authentication code but here what the message authentication code they are adding the tls protocol uses hmac hash based message authentication code this is added to the data this is added to the data this is done by tls record protocol okay now you understand one point how the tls certificate validate the client and server how the message is transformed between client and server mainly tls provides three services the main three services are everywhere authentication yes or no authentication means both the parties have to identity transfer the identities between each other then only he is the original author that is original client he is the original sender no other person is involved authentication and next one is encryption so it uses different symmetric and, and asymmetric encryption algorithms for exchange of data means unauthorized person unable to access simply hide the data from unauthorized person encryption and after this authentication and encryption and the next one is integrity you know the meaning integrity once the data is transferred during the process once the delivered from the sender before received by the receiver there is no modification of the data there is no modification of the data that means forgery is not happened how can you say that based on the message authentication code based on message authentication code these are the main services that are provided by tls now i will give you one very very important point the point is what is the difference between tls and ssl so in the last session we discussed ssl 
means secure socket layer transport layer security remember tls is not a different topic of ssl tls is an initiation in the simple sense a older version of ssl simply first to ssl 1.0 2.0 and ssl 3.0 is completed after ssl 3.0 immediately they are developing tls 1.0 that means tls is generated from the older version of ssl everything is same whatever the provide security that provided by ssl tls also do the same thing why it is the next version the only thing is the organizations are changed for example ssl is provided by netscape and tls is provided by internet engineering task force idf so organizations vary that is the reason just to change the name and some minute small differences are there tls uses more robust authentication process more more robust authentication process and more robust encryption algorithms more robust encryption algorithms compared to ssl that is the reason tls provides more security than ssl that means tls certificate has more value than ssl certificate that is one reason another one is TLS uses HMAC algorithm, hash based message authentication code. Once the encrypted, we are adding the message authentication code to achieve the integrity. Now TLS uses HMAC algorithm and SSL. You think you know that one? SSL uses just to message authentication code. Compared to this one, this will provide lot of security. This is one of the advantage. and another one is i think you remember in tls alert to protocol in ssl also internally alert to protocol is there whenever there is an error issue occurred we need to send some alert messages how many alert messages are sent in ssl we can send only one alert message but in tls at a time you can send more than one alert message to both the parties that is both the client and server so these are some of the advantages of tls certificate compared to ssl certificate anyway tls is the next version of ssl now one simple thing suppose if you are using some website check whether your website chat follows the tls certificate or not simple thing open the url in the right side of the url if you have a padlock appears the right side of url if a padlock appears means that the website follows the tls certificate if you click on the padlock it gives the complete details of the tls certificate anyway this is the concept of transport layer security thank you